there is healing in the work of Calvary. Paul the Apostle said in 2 in Corinthians 4 verse 10, always bearing about in the body, bearing about in our body the dying of the Lord Jesus. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. His life, His power, His healing virtue manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. Here's the key right there. This is the key right there. We are delivered unto death. Listen very carefully. In, this, in these few words is the secret to your healing right now. Catherine Marshall was struck with disease. A very serious disease. She was a precious saint of God. Peter Marshall, her husband, was, the, was one of the greatest men of God that ever lived. And Catherine Marshall was on her deathbed, literally. Her husband was preaching in Washington, D.C. at the church where he was pastor. I know the son, Peter, is my friend to this day, young Peter. He still writes me letters every so often. His father was preaching in the church in Washington. And the mom was sick in bed, nearly at the point of death. When she looked up and said, Dear Jesus, I give you my body. I give you my sickness. As I have given you my life, I give you my sick body. And that minute, the power of God went through her body. She surrendered her body to the Lord. She let go of her body as not her own. She counted it dead and alive unto God. As long as you hold on to your body, He cannot heal it. But the minute you give Him that body with its corruption and affliction, he will heal it because he only heals his property. You must give your body to him. He only heals what we give him. He only touches what we yield unto him. When you gave him your life, he changed it. When you gave him your sin, he cleansed it. Now give him your body to heal it. I repeat, he only fixes what belongs to him. He only heals what belongs to him. He only touches what we give to him. When I surrender my body under the anointing, I say, use me, here is my vessel. He only uses what we give him, not what we hold on to. So Paul says this most remarkable truth that he gives us. He says, for we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. In other words, we yield our bodies. We surrender our lives. We give Him everything. We die to ourselves. And when we surrender and die and yield, then He states that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal, mortal, not immortal, mortal flesh. That means now. That means presently. We must 
identify with the cross. We must come to the cross and say, Lord Jesus, I yield my body. I give you my vessel. I give it to you with its corruption, confusion, and sin. I give you my body with its sicknesses and weaknesses. And we receive the truth of the cross. We discern the work of Calvary. You're watching in your homes. This is happening in a conference. This is not a, a, a crusade. This is just a conference we're having in Dallas. And I've been teaching last night, night before. But now I'm praying for the sick. And God is just healing His precious people like this. Help her up again. I see that lady behind her crying next to Ron. And it's so precious. The Lord just healed you totally. And no pain. None, 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 none. None, none. And, and no you pain. felt, what did you feel on your body? Can you describe it? Yeah. It, it was like electricity. It went in this arm and down my le down this side of my body and back up this side and out the top of my head. And now everything's on fire. People, let's just lift our hands and thank Him. We, we, thank you, we do not thank take you. this for granted, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We, we do not take this for granted, precious yeah, Lord. I thank you for your mercy, the incredible mercy of Jesus Christ the compassion of the Lord Jesus Christ I give you praise thank you Lord what can I say but thank you I, I've got nothing to do with it I'm more amazed than the lady herself that you should heal your people like this after all these years I've seen you heal your people I'm still as amazed as I was that first night in Oshawa Canada I'm still as amazed. Take not thy spirit from me. For thy name's sake. Dear is Jesus. That's precious. That is precious. That is precious. Can we just thank him? Can we just thank him? I give you praise, Lord.